Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stitch Trek, the show where we talk about Star Trek costumes, how to make them, how to buy them, and today I am catching back up with a promise I made a long, long time ago, and that is where to get the best boots for the cheapest price possible to go with your original series woman's uniform. I think I said I'd make a video about this in one of my very first videos that was filmed upstairs in the study. I'm going to insert some pictures here. I ordered these on November 14th and they showed up on November 30th. I have definitely waited longer for items that I ordered on Wish, so that's not terrible in the grand scheme of things. And what you're going to want to order, of course, is the black. The price right now is $9.91. I remember ordering them for seven bucks a few years ago, but as with everything else, things have gotten slightly more expensive. Are you ready for the Wish listing name? Women's, fashion, casual, shoes, autumn, winter, mid, boots, martin, boots, long, boots, snow, boots, plus, size, 34.43. Yeah. You may be saying, oh, but Brooke, those boots are covered in buckles and buttons. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, I'm about to show you. These are listed in European sizes. I take a 39, if anybody's curious. And yeah, they do have a few weird accents and some buckles but they're pretty easy to take off. Are these the highest quality boots in the world? No. But are they the right shape? Yes. And that's what we're after. What you're going to need is something thin, strong, and pointy. A stitch ripper is perfect for this. These buttons are only held on by two little tabs. What you're going to do is pull these back, hopefully without ripping any of the pleather, and you can see the tabs. Just very carefully pry them apart, hopefully without tearing. There we go. I do it with the other one. And for these silly straps, those are only attached at the side. I'm going to remove these by ripping that stitch out. This is going to open the side seam of the boot, but it's a pretty easy fix from that. Now for the other one. Interesting. It opened the seam down here, but not up here. So this had been stitched almost down. Little, little weird things. Hold on, let me try the other boot. Nope, it opened in both spots on this one. Oh, wish. Now, if you don't want to sew, you could just put a very careful clean line. Remember, it dries white, so it will show of super glue in the opening. Just draw a nice straight line on the back of that, hold it, and it'll keep it closed pretty well. I am going to stitch these little openings by hand. A little tip for tight spaces. A lot of people think you have to pull the thread, you know, in one side, out the other, in one side, out the other, in one side, out the other, but you must think interdimensionally when sewing. Not everything is a straight line. So for beginners, you don't have to shove your hand way down the boot and make this complicated and stab yourself over and over again. You can, let me get closer. I can go in here and out there. I'm gonna go back up. Up. 
bend it. Out there. I'm actually trying to come out of the holes of the original stitching. That way it just blends in better. So I'm doing little back loops. Then I'm just going to go around a bunch of times in one hole to anchor this end of stitching. I'm going to go through the other side and I'm going to break the end of the thread off and the ins on the in <laughs> I'm going to break the thread off on the inside of the boot so that the raw end doesn't show. Now this one's not bad at all, but this one, the buttons left some holes that show beige through. Can you see that on this camera? There it is. And all I'm going to do is dab a little black Sharpie in there to disguise it. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. You have a pair of pretty darn perfect original series women's uniform boots for $9.96, was it? That's not bad. Now I have two pairs. I must say my first pair has lasted me a darn long time. And it's not like I use them a lot, but I do wear them more than any other pair of boots when I go on these cruises. I walk all over the ship in these. And even with the slight motion of the ship, these little heels are not that treacherous. Once you break them in, it only took me about a day to do so. They're pretty darn comfortable. I've been really happy with these. I haven't looked anymore for any other pairs to replace them because these are just, they've been so good. They do have a little metallic accent on the heel. If you don't like that, paint it over with some black nail polish. Easy peasy. Well, I think that does it for today. I'm going to put a link to these boots in the description box below. But thank you everybody for watching Stitch Trek yet again. It's great to have you here. Live long and prosper. Kapla! And... Welcome to the Giant Sweater Channel.